Hello, everybody, and welcome to this week's Demonic Pick a Card. I have to say this series has been absolutely amazing. This is our fourth video, and this has been so much fun to shoot. So much fun. I, I absolutely love this series so much. So this week is for the week of July 12th to July 18th. And I have the cards laid out for this week's pick a card. So I want you to just take a moment to gaze at the cards. Gaze at the cards and see which one speaks to you. This is card number one. This is card number two. And this is card number three. Gaze at the cards and take a moment to feel which one calls to you. That is your card. That is the demon that has a message for you. Take a moment to gaze at the cards. All right. Card number one. Let's see what demon has a message for us. Unsir. Unsir is amazing demoness of fertility, of protection, of nourishment and fulfillment. The message that Unsir has for you is that you are tired. You are tired and you are depleted. There is so much stress, there is so much pressure and you need to just take time for yourself. You need to step back. I know it's busy. I know there's a lot to get done. I know it's crazy, but you need to find the time to just take a step back and just sit with yourself. Take a step back and be in your energies. Just breathe. Take a step back and breathe. When Sarah is saying that breath is so important, it's so important to just breathe and to find time to nourish yourself, find time for you. Find time to do something that you enjoy. The stress of the world can wait. The pressures of life, it can wait. All the people that are putting pressure on you, they don't care about you. They don't care what happens to you. They just want to take from you. You have to be the one to put that boundary in and say, no, I can only give so much. I only have so much. You cannot bleed blood from a stone. Give me my space. I need to take a moment. I need to take some time for me. I need to take time to reground. I need to take time to center myself and to nourish my soul. Taking those moments, those sacred moments throughout the day to just nourish your soul and to make sure that you are filled with energy and that you are taken care of, it's so important. It actually will allow you to get more done. When Sir is saying that when you push yourself to the limits, you're naturally slower. You're drained. You're running on empty. You're pushing yourself to the brink. Stop. Stop and take that break that you need. Take that step back and just take the time to nourish yourself. Disconnect. Disconnect from the world. Disconnect from all technology, disconnect from the energies and take time to just be in your space. Connect to your spirit guides, connect to your spirit companions and feel nourishment from them. Receive guidance and wisdom from them and let them help you to solve the challenges in your life. Let them help you to overcome these obstacles. You need to take a step back and you need to do some self care. You really need to take that time to nourish yourself because you are going to you're you are going to burn out if you haven't already burned out. It's coming. And you need to make sure that you are balancing the demands that are placed upon you with your own self-care. Unsir is reaching out to you to say nourish your soul. You need to set the boundaries of self-care and you need to remind those that would put intense stress and pressure on you that you have your own needs that need to be met. You need to honor those needs and you need to honor the state that your body is in. You can only go so far and you can only push yourself so far. Take that time, take that nourishment, meditate. Go get a massage, go lay in the sun, go for a walk in nature, 
rejuvenate your soul. Have a meal that you love. There are different types of foods that nourish the soul. They're different for everybody. For me, it's my grandmother's dumpling soup. That is a food that nourishes the soul. What meal nourishes your soul? Have it, find it. When Seer says you need to nourish yourself this week and you need to take care of yourself so that you don't burn out. That is card number one. Let's see which demon is under card number two. Ronway, also pronounced Renault. I prefer the spelling of Renault myself. Renov is a demon of knowledge, exciting knowledge, passionate knowledge, intellect. Renov says, take time this week to read, to read and explore a topic that you've always wanted to. Learn about something that you've always wanted to know about, something you've always wanted to explore but never thought you had the time. Take that time this week. Take that time. Set time aside to read, set time aside to research, and set time aside to pursue a new avenue. It's going to open up the energies in your body. It's going to arouse your chakras, and it's going to help fill you with life. It's going to help fill you with wonder. Go learn. Go connect to knowledge, to wisdom. There is a topic that you've always wanted to learn about. There's something you've wanted to research, a book that you've just wanted to dive into. Take this week and read that book. Devour that knowledge. It will stimulate your mind. It'll change the direction of your life and it will open up and clear out stagnant energies. We often get caught up in the mundane routine and the banal actions of life, going through the same motions over and over and over again. Learn something new, pursue a new avenue, open up a new venture. Read that book that you've always wanted to read. Take this time this week to just nourish the energies within, nourish your mind. The sad reality is once we leave school, a lot of people stop reading. They stop connecting to the intellectual world and they stop connecting to the knowledge that is out there. Renove wants you to nourish your mind and to fill it with excitement and passion. Pursue something that you are passionate about. Pursue a topic that just intrigues you and just calls to you. Take time this week to read. Take time this week to research and take time this week to study something that calls to you. It's going to clear out stagnant energies it's going to open up the energies of your mind and it's going to arouse your chakras. Chakra arousal is not something that is sexual. It is not something that is related to the sexual nature of the sacral chakra. Chakra arousal is where you are left in awe and wonder at life. You are left in awe and wonder at the world that is around you. When we are children, Everything is amazing. Everything is incredible. But as we become adults, we start to feel like, oh, well, we've seen this before. Everything becomes familiar. So we're no longer aroused by life. We're no longer enamored by it. It doesn't speak to us. That's why opening the energies of the chakra and just being in awe at the incredible knowledge and wonder that is out there, it can just awaken the senses, awaken the chakras, and it can remind you how amazing life is. It can remind you to be present and just pay attention and be aroused by the little moments of life. A flower that is beautiful, a landscape that speaks to you, sitting and watching running water just flow and all the amazing creatures that are in the river with it. Being present in the moment allows you to open your chakras. And when you research something new, when you explore a new avenue, that opens the energies and that arouses your chakras as well. Renov says to take this week to arouse your chakras with reading and the exploration of knowledge. So that's card number two. 
All right, time for card number three. Card number three is Tezrian. Tezrian is a very amazing demoness. She is one of vengeance, she is one of protection, and she is one of power. Tezrian is speaking and saying that you have every right to stand up for yourself, especially this week. Well, any time, but this week, if something happens, if someone disrespects you, if somebody walks over your boundary, you have every right to call them on it. You have every right to put your foot down and you have every right to take the steps necessary to support your boundaries and reinforce them. If somebody cannot respect you, if somebody cannot respect the boundaries that you've placed and they cannot respect your authority to oversee how you are treated, then they need to be put down. They need to be put back in their place and reminded that you are not a doormat. You are not somebody that they can just walk over and you are not somebody that they can take advantage of. You have autonomy of self. You have the right to govern yourself and you have the right to govern how you are treated. Do not let anybody cross your boundaries and do not let anybody violate your sense of self. If they do, put them back in their place. Speak and remind them that they have no right to treat you with disrespect. They have no right to walk all over you and they have no right to disrespect you or your boundaries. Stand up for yourself. Stand up for your rights and stand up for your boundaries. People think that they can just walk all over you and they think there'll be no repercussions. Show them, show them that if they are going to cross your boundaries and if they are going to willingly cross your boundaries, knowing full well that those are your boundaries, there are going to be repercussions. There are going to be repercussions and you are going to put them back in their place. You are going to preserve your boundaries and you are going to enforce them. You have every right to teach people how to treat you and you have every right to stand up for your boundaries and stand up for yourself when you are disrespected. Do not let anybody disrespect you and do not let anybody cross your boundaries. You have that right. It is them who is violating your rights. It is them who is crossing a boundary that you have set. By you enforcing that boundary, it does not make you wrong and it does not make you bad. It does not make you a horrible person. It is just basic respect. If somebody crosses your boundaries, if somebody violates your space, you have every right to tell them and you have every right to put them back. Put them back and enforce the boundary. And if they persist, then you can come at them with just as much force, if not more. You can come at them with as much force as needed to put them back and to guard and protect your space. Honor yourself. Honor the boundaries that you have set and do not let people push them. Because people will try. They will try. They want to see how much you will falter. They want to see how much you will cave. They want to see just how serious you are about your boundaries. Well, show them. Show them just how serious you are and show them that you will not tolerate their disrespect. Trust me, people may call you names remove them. People may think you're being horrible, mean, and cruel. Too bad. It's your boundaries. If they can't respect you, well, that's their problem. That is their problem. And if they don't like that you've reinforced your boundaries and pushed them out, well, maybe they should not have violated them to begin with. Maybe they should have respected them to begin with. Everybody makes choices. And if somebody makes a choice to cross your boundaries and violate your space, they should not be upset when you strike back and protect yourself. Don't let anybody violate your boundaries. That is card number three. Thank you so much, everyone. This is this week's message, the week of July 12th to July 18th.
I hope you enjoyed these messages from the demonic divine. Be sure to join us next Monday. We will have another pick a card and another set of messages channeled from three different demons. Until then, though, I hope you have an amazing, demonically inspired week. If you love our videos, please like and subscribe. And if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please drop them below in the comment section. I do read the comments, and sometimes I do do priestess talks on the questions that are asked to me. So please let me know what you think. I love hearing your guys' feedback, and I love hearing how much you're enjoying the videos. So please leave me a comment, subscribe to our channel, and like our videos. We love you guys so much, and I hope you have an amazing and incredible week, and I will see you next Monday for the next Pick a Card of Messages from the Demonic Divine. Bye!